Hello everyone, in this video today I'm going to be re-outfitting my carbon jet. This is primarily because my heels have been rubbing away at the carbon Kevlar at the front, so I'm going to be using my new West Systems uh, fiberglass boat repair kit to patch it up. I just got it and this will be the first time, so I'll walk you guys through it. And um, this is my emergency repair kit right here. I've got some sandpaper, mask, spare foam for fixing stuff. Two rolls of tape, depending on transparent or black. Got some spare stuff for my helmets, brushes, scissors, heavy duty scissors. Got my brand new West Systems glass fiber repair kit. You can get this for about £25, it was recommended to me. This is going to be the first time I'm using it, so we'll see how that goes. Got some rubber sealant here, fixing cags and the whatnot. And uh, we've got some other glues and stuff in there, so let's get started. All the black tape's been applied along here. Now the boat is fully taped up. I'm going to move on to uh, repairing the fiberglass section. The thing to note is that I have a torch here. Which I'm going to use to shine on the inside so the camera can see it's doing a little bit better. The pack did not come with a sandpaper, the scissors, or the mask, but uh, this is everything that comes in the West Systems fiberglass boat repair kit. We have some mixing cups, safety gloves, brushes for painting the epoxy on, and so on. Two tubs of various different sized sort of fillers, sort of little filaments for the fiber. Got two syringes, mixing or sort of measuring syringes for measuring out how much you need of both the hardener and the epoxy right there. Got a spreading brush for spreading the mixture and then we've got sheet of all the different fibers and so on right there and some instructions which I have to say were really not that great so I ended up using YouTube for most of it but you guys can use this video instead so enjoy before we get started with this I will not be using either of these two in the making of it and I will only be using one of these types of fibers but the first thing we need to do is we need to use the sandpaper to sand down the inside of the boat so it all adheres properly, so let's get on with that. Taken out the foam block, which was in there, that was just next to my footrest. That's fine over there. On the inside see the patches which I'll be covering right there and there the boat's been drying for the past 24 hours so it's dry and there's nothing in there it's, you know in the way or anything so I'm just going to go ahead and start sanding Uh, extremely painful to do, you know. You wouldn't think after buying a boat like this, you'd, uh, you'd actually think about sanding it down. So, yeah, not a fun experience, but let's get on with making it good again. Here we have the uh, three different fabrics that are involved. This one's light, this one's heavier, structural support, and this one's peel ply. The peel ply will ensure a sort of smoother finish even coating. This one here is the 450 grams per meter squared biaxial gloss tape which is used for structural support which is what I'll be using because it's thicker, more durable and this one is just a lighter one for a smaller repairs patches so this is what we're going to be using along with this. The first thing we're going to want to do is we're going to cut this and this to size to cover the patch that we want to do. So I'm going to get on with that. the peel ply right here. Had to use two sheets which is a bit of a shame and we've got the perfect size sheet of the thicker 450 gram meter squared biaxial tape there. 
this should cover it nicely create a smoother finish and we're done right there should be all cool alrighty then I'm going to get on with mixing both the hardener and the epoxy together but because I need my hands free gloves and whatnot I'm going to attach a camera to this and you can watch me do that finished adding that layer of carbon fiber in the front there and I've added the peel ply over the top with some bits for me to pull it across should do the job nicely and uh, I'll come back in a bit and see how that's getting on we've got the stuff left to dry here so it's not in the way and uh, yeah I'm, I'm happy with the job so far Hello everyone, it's about 2 o'clock, which means my uh, fiberglass patch has been drying for about 20 hours. I recently took the peel ply off, there were no problems with that, and I'm actually really happy with the repair. If you guys just want to have a look, this is what it looks like. Some, some excess resin about the place, so it wasn't perfect, but the actual sheet itself is fully saturated and the repair is good and strong. Something that is worth noting with the uh, the hardener that comes with the West Systems Five Plus by Repair Kit is that it's only supposed to take about six to eight hours to fully harden. And I think you can use the actual item itself after a day. So I left it for a bit longer than I needed to, but the result is perfectly satisfactory. All right, guys, that's going to be the end of the video now that I've finished the repair. Be sure to like, subscribe, and uh, the more of you guys do that, the more chance that I'll make another video like this. See you guys later.